what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to add openings all right so let's go to the structure tab and then you can see there's an option here there are several tools for creating our opening here okay and then the tool that we will be using to create an opening for our slab is shaft opening so it creates a vertical opening that spans multiple levels, cutting through intervening roofs, floors, and ceilings. So let's do this. So we need to use our architectural model again as our guide. So that's why I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. Imported categories, just check the visibility of our CAD drawing and then select OK. All right, so these are the openings that we are going to create so you see this area here for our stairs so we are going to create an opening there okay so let's do this so opening select the shaft opening click and then we need to sketch that so we will be creating a symbol uh, boundary line first and then after that we are going to create symbolic line so for the draw panel it's very simple it's just a rectangular so let's click rectangle here and then let's pick the boundary here, the first point. And then we're going to pick another point here. Okay, now before we finish this, so let's modify the property of our uh, shaft opening. So for the base constraint, just make sure we are on zero to floor. And then we're going to specify an offset distance here of uh, minus 6 inches. Remember, that's the thickness of our floor slab. So I'm going to offset it by minus 6 inches. And then for the top constraint, let us just make that up to the roof level. Okay. Later on, after you create your sketch or after you create your shaft opening, you can still modify your shaft opening just like modifying your floor slab okay so you can always go back and modify that if there's something wrong okay and then just apply it and then after that uh, the next thing that we will be doing let's create a symbolic line so let's click symbolic line that will represent an opening so using the line tool so let's click from that corner to the opposite corner so we're going to create an X symbol for the opening of our shaft, for the shaft opening. Okay, and there you go. Then after that, let's select here, finish edit mode, and that's it. There you go, and then select modify. There you go. So there's the symbol for our opening. So if you are going to edit your shaft opening, just click again the shop opening and then just select edit sketch and then you will be going back again to editing the sketch now let's check this out in the 3d view 3d uh, default 3d view and then there's our opening and then if you're going to hover your pointer you will notice you will be able to select your shop opening right you can click that you can actually move that up if you want there you go so there's no opening there so it needs to move further down something like that Okay, or just type the exact value, minus 6 inches. And then apply, and that's it. Okay, and then we're going to copy this uh, shop opening. So although we can do that in the 3D view, but much better accurate to that in the floor plan view. So let's select the shop opening. Let's use the copy tool. And then make sure multiple here is checked. And then if you want to constrain your movement to vertical only and horizontal only, just like ortho in AutoCAD, you can check here the constraint option. So just click that. And then let's click here at the corner as, as our base point or maybe at the center. So let's click at the center here, midpoint. And then let's click at the midpoint there. And same with this. There's no midpoint. Okay, so let me just escape. <laughs> and then just copy again. So copy, select, copy. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. So this one, I need to move. 
so let's move that to this corner there you go and then while it is still selected so let's copy that that corner and then let's copy it here there you go and select modify okay there you go we just created our shaft opening let's check that out in the 3d view and there you have it okay right so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day